Are you Aaron Burr, sir? Is there, is there something I'm supposed to say now? Is there something I'm supposed to know? <laughs> it's from the show. You've seen the show. We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> Hey, I'm Soman. And I'm Joanne. And we're not going to throw away our shot. Welcome to a special Hamilton-themed episode of Ever Never TV. This episode should have happened a very long time ago because Joanne has seen the show how many times? A, a number of times. And I finally saw it. It took me a very long time. I was resisting just because I've seen a lot of Broadway shows in my mm-hmm. life and I feel like they are all the same. And I did not think it was worth paying an exorbitant you amount of money. You didn't believe. I really <laughs> didn't believe. But then I had a friend come stay with me named Brendan Reichs, who's a really good author. And Brennan was like, I came all the way from North Carolina, let's just do it. So we got a day of tickets, you know, that were pretty expensive, but, you know, worth it. Despite having um, a woman next to me who had bathed herself in perfume. Oh. At the intermission, I went outside and literally was like somebody who had been drowning for three hours. I was like, <gasps> but it was so good. Yeah, see, that's the power of the show. <laughs> Even when you're like mostly brain dead from perfume and allergic you can still enjoy the show. I'm sure a ton of you, I know a ton of you, are listening to the soundtrack 24-7. Do you know all the <laughs> lyrics by now? I know, I want to say like 75% of the show. And that just comes from listening to it again and again and again. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have the soundtrack, so I, I look at the lyrics too yeah, as it, I'm listening, it. and then that helps. But there's something about it that, despite it being very heavily rapped, it also is, is quite musical. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some really good songs in there. Even though everyone calls it the hip hop musical, it actually incorporates so many different elements together. So say somebody wants to go to Hamilton. Mm. What would you give them as the tips of how to get tickets? It depends on a number of things, namely how much time you have and how much money you have. All right, let's say you have a lot of time and no money. Okay, if you have a lot of time, you can do the cancellation line like I did, which Mm. is, you know, um, probably the craziest thing I've ever done as a fan. But my sister was coming in town and I wanted to give her this as a graduation present. Mm. And so I did all my research. I bought like one of those folding camping chairs and packed snacks and packed like books and everything and like went to the Richard Rogers Theater. I showed up at half past midnight Mm. for the 2 p.m. Saturday matinee. I was still 12th in line. And still, being 12th in line, that means you're pretty far back. Yeah. So I was really nervous and I was there like 14 hours. I got to a fight with a guy in line behind me. It was like a whole ordeal. I did get tickets. I got like standing room only tickets. Oh, they still have those? Yeah. So I've done that at, when I saw Chicago, I had standing room only. You kind of sit at the, stand at the back of the orchestra, right? Mm -hmm. And they have these little like elbow rests. Yeah. You can see everything basically except for the very top level, but... That's the whole show. I think for me, I've done a lot of things. At one point, I wanted to see opening night of a Madonna tour. I went from New York to San Francisco. What I never realized is that the opening night of a tour, it's a real disaster. It's like previews of a show. Um, She dropped her mic. She almost fell into the crowd. The dancer stumbled over the stereo. They missed steps. It was just like, it was a mess. And I was like, okay, never doing this again. Like, sure, I'm the first person on earth to see this tour. But this is a disaster. So what are your other big fandoms? Other things that you obsess over? Right now, the the big things I'm obsessing over are Steven Universe. You're always obsessing over things that I've never heard of in my life. (laughs) Like, you talked about Gravity Falls. Yeah. I I didn't even know what that was, and now, like, I see it everywhere. It's funny because it's, like, cartoons. Yeah. I'm going back to being a big kid. Yeah. I also love Star Wars, but we already know your feelings on that. It's okay. But I really don't like the new one. You know what it is? I think this is a difference. Mm -hmm. For me, I need a portal into the fantasy world. It has to start on Earth and then you find your way into the universe. Like, that's Potter, that's Wizard of Oz, that's Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And Star Wars is, I don't have any like point of reference where to start. Yeah. I need to start as human and then sort of like, you know, like Guardians of the Galaxy. You might like Doctor Who then, because Doctor Who, there's a companion and she comes in and, you know, she's and so, introduced and you start the entire, in the world. Yep. So that's it for our special Hamilton-themed episode of Ever Never TV. I'm going to go back to work on book four, Quest for Glory, that comes out next summer. And um, Joanne is going to go back to watching Steven Universe. Yes, <laughs> but also running the rest of um, the school the, for good and people universe. universe. Yeah. We'll see you guys soon. And Ramona will be back next week. Mm-hmm. Bye.